Hello, I'm Philip Turner and welcome to the France 24 interview. 75 years ago, on the 27th of January 1945, the Nazi death camp at Auschwitz was liberated by Allied forces. And from that moment on, the world came face to face with the real horrors of the Nazi regime. Of the 1.1 million people who perished at Auschwitz, 90% of them were Jewish. So, 75 years on, as commemorations take place to mark this event, what can be done to preserve the memory of those who perished at Auschwitz and what can be done to transmit that memory to future generations to make sure that it never happens again? Well, to discuss that, I'm joined by two very famous Nazi hunters, uh, the historian and also lawyer Serge Klosfeld and his wife Beate Klosfeld, who is an anti-Nazi militant. Thank you so much for joining us here on France 24. So it's been 75 years since Auschwitz was liberated. Uh, everybody's heard about Auschwitz these days. What can be done, do you think, in this very troubled time for Jewish people and increased racist attacks around the world, uh, growing pressure on minority groups, to preserve that memory and transmit it to future generations? I'll start with you, Serge Klaasfeld. Much, much has been done because uh, all over the world, Western world, uh, uh, very powerful uh, documentation centers, memorial have been built in uh, United States, in France, in Germany, and in, in each country where uh, the Holocaust took place, uh, uh, such documentation centers exist. Many uh, thousands of uh, uh, Thesis University works were done uh, about the Holocaust. Uh, uh, dozens of thousands uh, uh, of uh, books were written. Uh, so the memory was established. How to transmit? The, by, it's uh, by uh, school, uh, by uh, uh, not only by school, but, but also by movies. There are many movies, documentaries, uh, great fiction movies. Uh, uh, much exists to transmit uh, an exceptional, tragic event uh, in the history of uh, uh, humanity, uh, uh, that uh, uh, the fact that the most advanced country people in the world, the German people, tried to kill, uh, to exterminate uh, the most ancient people still uh, existing, uh, the Jewish people. Uh, so it's something which. Uh, uh, in, makes ma many questions uh, have to be uh, uh, solved, and uh, uh, so I believe that the new generation can, of course, can uh, take knowledge of what happened, what ha has happened, and also uh, they have to 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 take the consequences of uh, what has been done and and to, to do everything against the return of total, totalitarian uh, uh, regimes and to fight for democracy. But even without the return of, of totalitarian regimes, that the figures over the, the, the past few years, particularly here in France, con concerning Jews are, are not very encouraging. Uh, for example, um, there have been 2,000 uh, Jews leaving France every year. Uh, that's according to the, the French uh, Jewish Representative Council uh, 7,200 quit the country and went to Israel in 2014 alone. Uh, there's been a 74% increase in anti-Jewish attacks in France. Um, they, they say maybe even 76% for 2019. Um, and 12 people have been assassinated, 12 Jewish people have been assassinated in France over the past 15 years. Uh, why is this still continuing when there's been so much information given out about uh, the, the attacks on Jewish, the death camps? Why, why is this... Um, th this, uh, these attacks against Jews still continuing today? During the Holocaust uh, period, uh, uh, Muslim countries didn't take uh, many steps against uh, Jews. And today, the, the first uh, 
uh, enemy of uh, Jewish uh, people are uh, fundamentalist uh, uh, Islamist. Uh, so it's a new enemy, uh, and uh, we have to 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 fight against uh, that uh, fundamentalism Islamist, uh, against uh, extreme right, uh, which is still anti-Semitic, and also against the uh, extreme left, which was always against uh, uh, a Jewish state. So uh, there are many enemies, as uh, 100 years ago, uh, many enemies of the Jewish people, and all the Jews are uh, anxious about the future, because uh, when you are a Jew, you never know what can happen. And, uh, uh, of course, the situation is not so bad. Uh, there are not only attempts against Jews. Jews have a very good situation all over the world, and there is a Jewish state today. But... Uh, the, but the but surely, surely that if, if you if you look at the situation now, uh, Beat, uh, uh, there's one thing that you have said often: we're in a situation where it could happen again. If you look at G Germany in the 1920s, it was a democracy. Then in the 1930s, it was no longer a democracy. Uh, for example, when uh, we had the elections in in 2017, you published a picture of of concentration camps uh, to try to dissuade people to vote for uh, the the national rally in France of Marine Le Pen. Are you very worried that that uh, uh, we could see a return to what we've already seen in the 1930s? Yes, I think we are very uh, very much afraid. You know, like like as a German, for me, it's uh, terrible to know that uh, you know we have these big monuments in Germany, the Holocaust Denkmal, and somebody from the writing party could say uh, it's a shame for Germany he was not pursued for this. He could say this, you know. That's the liberty of speech, and the writing parties are taking care that, uh, you know, in Germany, so it's a very rich country, but still there's a crisis that started when Mrs. Merkel opened the front just for the immigrants. But, uh, you know, and then a democ, uh, somebody who is a good speaker and uh, who knows he promises whatever he can, but he never can accomplish. And so he attracts a lot of people, and that's a danger. People might say are stupid enough to believe in somebody who cannot uh, uh, finally uh, what he promised cannot uh, done. And so we have to fight against writing parties. Antisemitism is uh, even today where the writing parties are not on power, but still, uh, if there are in Europe writing parties all over, it will be worse. Can you believe? When, when you look back at your life, uh, the two of you, uh, there was one mark, uh, uh, there's one incident, which was when you slapped the, the West German Chancellor in the face in 1968 uh, to prove a, to, that he had been a former Nazi. And you said at the time that you could have been shot dead by the, the West German security forces. Was that, do you think, a, a, a different moment then when it people began to realise that they had to take stock of the past, whereas they sort of said that was the past, let's forget about it, to actually come to terms with what had happened and then get to take these former Nazis and make sure they faced justice? Yeah, I think for me it was, as a German, was necessary, you know, to to uh, prevent that former active Nazis could have uh, functions in the political life. And he was a German Chancellor Kissinger. He was a head of the uh, German policy. He was Chancellor. So for me, I had such duties to, uh, to assume, uh, uh, to take my responsibilities. And my responsibility was uh, having lived in Germany in, in the war, uh, in Berlin, so knowing what's going on, what's the Second World War, and all the victims, even for Germans. So I couldn't understand that uh, so short time after the war, the German could uh, uh, vote for a uh, Nazi who was a propagandist, well uh, informed about what was going on in the camps, the military situation. So it was awful. But after the war, you know, as I know, I had I lived in, in Germany, so there was no discussion in my, with my parents about what was happening during the war. The only thing was we lost the war, and now we have to rebuild Germany. So in the first parliament in Germany, they had 123 uh, former active Nazis. The German at this time didn't want to do anything, you know. And so, uh, so slowly, slowly, my action against Chancellor, I think, was quite important because uh, then, you know, uh, the people took over, mainly the generation of the 68, not to allow that former active Nazis could... Uh, are, there, are there any um, Nazis that you would still like to catch, or is it now over, it's too late, the ones who... Uh, no, today no, there are no... 
now they are dead, you know, and the Nazi who took decisions really uh, were 30 years old, uh, so 30 years and 75, uh, it's more than 100 years, uh, so they are all dead. Uh. But you remain optimistic that despite what we've been talking about, uh, people still, uh, that, that there's, people are still um, knowledgeable about what happened and that uh, um, this will not happen again, or are you fearful of the future? You, you need to be optimistic, <laughs> but uh, the future is unpredictable. And uh, who knew at the beginning of the 20th century what will happen? So Is that what, what you think too? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think so. It's very important, you know, uh, to, to ch I think the, those who have to address today I am I'm 80 years old, so I know I will be very active in the 68s. But today, the young generation has to take over. They have to fight, you know. They and have to be, they have to be uh, involved. involved uh, and not to only to, uh, to, you know, they had a good uh, movement, you know, and for the, how the young people acted for climate. So this was a good, good thing. So it's possible to mobilize young people. OK, well, thank you very much. And thank you very much indeed to Bert and to uh, Serge Klasfeld for taking part in this edition of the France 24 interview. And with that, thanks for watching and more news coming right up here on France 24. Here at France 24, we're taking a broad outlook by talking about the women who are reshaping our world. In France 24, in Spanish, we don't have topics. Y eso se puede ver en televisión y en todas las plataformas que tenemos en Internet. Si France 24 la nanza, o nachrizu lakum usbuayan, tazkira ta'auda, el muduni wal manatik el latikanat fi qalbi l'ahdaz, qabla an tadkula fi tayin nesya. Claro que tiene algo especial, somos todos de distintos países y trabajamos con todo el corazón para entregar información en el momento preciso. Akhbar, siyasiyya, waqtisadiyya, wathaqafiyya, wa aydan riyadiyya bi a'yuni khubara in riyadiyin, hadi hiya qanat. France 24. Liberté, égalité, actualité.